Many people have asked me, what is wrong with betting? Does the Bible say anything about betting? Should a Christian get engaged in betting, gambling, or lotteries? My name is David Oginde, and I just want to shed some light on this, and hopefully we can have an interaction on the same. For me, when I think about betting, it gets me back to the place of work. Would anybody say that betting or money got out of betting is a result of work? The answer obviously is no, because really you have done nothing other than sending your little money, and by chance, by luck, you win this uh, much money. And so no matter what the amount is, you cannot consider it as money that you have worked for or you have earned. The Bible tells us that when God created us, he created us to work. The first thing that Adam was given in the Garden of Eden was work. Work did not come as a result of a curse. Work came because God created Adam so that he could take care of the garden that he had created. And so you find on the sixth day, Adam is created or man is created and he's given the mandate to take care of the animals, take care of the birds, take care of the fish, take care of everything that God had created. And he is told how to go about it. And right away we find Adam setting about to work. This is long before Eve comes into the scene. And the Bible tells us the first work he was to do was to give the creation its names. All the animals were to be given names and Adam went about and the Bible says he gave names to each and every creature and whatever he called it, that is what it was called. So Adam was busy working in the garden that God had created. But uh, sin came later, uh, not before the work. So many people tend to assume that work is as a result of a curse, work is a result of the fall of man, work is as a result of sin. To the contrary, it is in doing work that we find our dignity. When you do a good job, whatever kind of job you are doing, whatever kind of work you are doing, if you do a good job, you find this great satisfaction that you gain out of it. It may be paid job or not paid job you'll find that when you do a good job, you are truly satisfied, you feel a sense of dignity, you feel a sense of fulfillment, you feel like you have made a contribution uh, to humanity. To the contrary, if you are living on handouts, where you are being given things on a daily basis, whether you are as a child or, or a brother or, a, or, or whoever it is that is giving you free money, there's something that you don't feel good about because we were never created to receive free things. We were created to work and to earn out of our labor. And so when we get into betting, the first thing that betting does to us is it robs you of your sense of dignity. Betting robs you of your sense of dignity. And that is a very important thing you will find that if you are to just sit there and from morning to evening, you are just on the betting uh, uh, posts, you'll find that your sense of dignity is taken away. The person who has gone out there and done some work and received some money, no matter how little it is, cannot be compared with yourself who is receiving free money because your sense of dignity is derived from doing good work. So if you ask me, is betting good? No. Why? Because it robs us of dignity. God created us to work. We find our dignity in work. And if we do not work, we lose that sense of dignity. Have you ever seen a person or met a person who has a, a very good, well-paying job? But they go to the office, they read the newspapers, they have no work. And you find that a person says, I'm so bored, I'm going to resign my job. You wonder why you have, you have paid so well. 
and, and you say, you know, I just go to the office, I don't do any work, I read the newspapers, I come back home, I receive good money, yes, but I don't feel fulfilled in my life. Why? Because money in itself cannot bring fulfillment. Even though you are paid a big salary, even though you are given so much money, when you are not making a contribution, there is an emptiness in your heart. And when you meet that person who is saying, I'm, retire, I'm, I'm resigning my job because I have no work, that is what they are talking about. They are talking about the sense of dignity that they have been robbed of. Worse still, if that person has been shunted, you know, you had a very good job, you are doing a very good work, and then uh, because of whatever reason, your boss brings another person when all your work is given to that other person, but you're not sucked, you know, you're just seated there. You continue to receive your salary, but the other person is doing your work. There is something that, an emptiness that comes into your heart. That is what I call the image of God in us. God is a worker. And when he created us in his image, he created us to work. And so when we just win free money, it is good for the moment. You will rejoice if you, earn, uh, you win a million. Maybe you win 10 million or 20,000, whatever amount it is. The joy is for that moment, but it is not joy that can sustain you for the rest of your days because the only fulfillment that we find uh, through scripture is the fulfillment we find through doing good work. And so I would encourage any person, uh, you may be listening to me or watching me this, uh, this, on this video and you are caught up in this gambling thing. Maybe it is because you don't have a job. Maybe because you want more money. Maybe because you want to get out of a debt situation and you are thinking that this is the best way you can go about it. Let me tell you, it will give you a fulfillment for a moment. If by chance, because it is chance, you win anything. But true fulfillment comes about when you go out there and do some work, even if it is voluntary work. And I would want to encourage those of you who have no jobs, go out there and volunteer your services and do some work. You will find you are so fulfilled even though you are not being paid. Don't get yourself into something that robs you of your dignity, something that robs you of your humanness. If you are already in that situation, I want to pray with you. I want to pray that God would get you out of that situation and get you to a place where you can earn something for yourself with your own hands. The Bible says God promises he will bless the labors of our hands. He will bless the work of our hand. And I believe God wants to bless the work of your hand, no matter what that work is. You, it could be demeaning in your own eyes, but it brings fulfillment when you do it well. Let me pray for you so that God may lead you into the right direction and get you out of a situation where you depend on free money. Let us pray together. Everlasting Father, there's somebody out there who is desperately in need of money. And perhaps they have been caught into this thing of playing lottery, they have caught into this thing of seeking after free money. And Lord, it is not the way you created us. And so I want to pray right now, if there is any person who was perhaps considering going this direction, that Lord, you would stop them and instead you would open a door of opportunity for them so that they can uh, get themselves to do some meaningful work that adds dignity and a sense of responsibility to their lives. If there's a person there who does not know you and wondering, well, who is this God? Father, I pray that you may reveal yourself to them and that they may come to you. And in so doing that, Lord, you would lead them into the right path. We want to thank you and we want to bless you for we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. We want to welcome you to interact with us. If you want to get in touch with us, please get in touch with the contacts that are right down on the screen and we'll be happy to be in touch with you. Thank you. My name is David Oginde and I'm glad you watched. God bless.